I wanna share the story with you of creating this omnibus because it actually started over a year ago all the way back in October, 2022. Let's see here, I was still working on this book and a little bit on book two, The Secret Shadow. It's been so long that I'm trying to remember the exact timeline because I wanna get this right for you. So this book I know came out in December of 20. 22. And then book two came out in, I think it was June, June or July. I always mix up those months, but I think it was June, 2023. And the last book actually just came out in January, 2024. So one book a year. So obviously I was working ahead on these books, but they weren't done. Okay. <laughs> so I was dreaming way ahead as I like to do. Book one was basically almost done essentially. Um, actually, I believe it was done because I tried to complete this earlier than I normally would for release, if I remember right. And I put it up on NetGalley. This was pretty much done. I always do things up to the last minute. Book two was in the works and I know that it was like halfway-ish. So it was written and book three was outlined. And I believe... Did I have anything written at all? I don't think so, not yet. I think it was just outlined. When I started looking for characters, but I definitely wasn't done. Let's put it that way. Basically, the moment it hit me that this was gonna be a complete trilogy that I could put into an omnibus, like a collector's edition version, I was sold and I instantly was like, I can finally get my character art cover that I've always, always wanted. It's been a dream for me, but like I've talked about in the past, when I was redesigning these covers and I was like, oh, I wish I could do a character art cover, but can you imagine hiring a character artist times four? It's very expensive, okay? So, and for good reason, because they put in a lot of work and they have such great talent and they deserve to get paid a lot. So character art can range anywhere from, I don't know, maybe a hundred bucks for someone who's just starting out, maybe a little less even, depending on what they want to charge all the way up to like thousands okay personally i can't imagine paying like a thousand dollars times four books i just oh, just had a little like mini explosion there <laughs> where it's like how would you ever <sighs> making your money back would take ages okay it just would set you up for a really frustrating release because all that i would be able to think about at least was like how long is it going to take for me to earn my money back and it would kind of ruin the fun and the excitement however obviously i wanted a character art cover so bad and i've seen the most beautiful character art covers and i've always wanted one okay so if i haven't said it enough i really wanted one <laughs> coming back to my point <laughs> because that was a tangent. In October, I started researching on Instagram. I started looking for character art uh, creators and I really specifically tried to find one that was like young adult style covers because I found some that I was like, oh, I really, really like this, but I think it's, it's implying a younger character just by the style. And then I found some that I was like, oh, I am obsessed with this. They're gorgeous. But then I was like, okay, I think this says adult books because they're so detailed. And it really does matter as I was browsing the different categories to look at what each category's character art was like, I realized it matters a lot what style you choose. And so I was looking for a very, very, very specific style that would blend in with the other styles in the same age range so that people would look at it and go, that's young adult, not that looks like an adult book or that looks like a middle grade book. It's very important to keep that in mind. Then I created like a spreadsheet and I was trying to track the different costs because there is a really wide range. And I was like, well, what is my budget? I was hoping for under $500, I'll be honest with you. At the same time, once I did find my character artists, I did include not only mine, but some others that were higher than that. Yeah, I included some who are more expensive and I don't have a good uh, reason except for I wanted to. <laughs> because I really liked the character art. So I did reach out to a few different people, but I wanna show you the account. I wanna show you the picture on the Instagram account that got me. I really, really like it. There were some others that I was really excited about as well. Not gonna lie, it was really hard to pick. But as I started talking to this character artist, I was like, I think this is gonna be a really good fit and I think it's gonna look gorgeous. So of course, a character artist, a really good one, is going to have other people that they're working with and you're not necessarily gonna get your cover right away. But I was able to get in, I think it was December, I believe, that we set it up and I was able to get in fairly quickly. Meanwhile, obviously I need to actually be writing the books that aren't even done to go under this character art covers. I knew I was ahead of myself. I just didn't realize how much. I was like, okay, I think I'll get this book done by this day and this book done by this day and maybe I'll use this character art cover in five or six months. Yeah, that didn't happen. But we did start working in December. I got to fill out this form 
form. Uh, it was just Google Docs, I think, and it was just really, really cool how detailed it was. So many detailed questions to get to know the character and know what to expect. In my opinion, the most helpful thing for us to work together was sending other visuals, just examples from my Pinterest board of what I thought Jezebel looked like and how I envisioned her because the more detailed you can get for a character artist, the better they can actually create what you're envisioning. And usually we do have something in our heads, to be honest. So instead of like being like, do whatever, and then being frustrated, if it doesn't turn out like I pictured, I just sent very specific things of what I pictured that she looked like. And thank you to my amazing character artist for giving me permission to share the mock-ups along the way. I wanna show you the very first one. Um, obviously you start out not not too detailed just to see if it's going in the right direction and I give feedback and then we work on another and then I give feedback and we work on another and I give feedback and so on and so on and we reached this gorgeous stunning conclusion I should mention for those of you who are wondering that I did specifically pay for the what do you call it the this size I'm trying to think of what we called it it's been over a year literally so don't mind me but I did say specifically that I was gonna do a six by nine and so if you were just to do like a front cover you would actually be paying less typically for most artists than if you want to do something this size. And I could have technically just like designed my own back cover, but I was willing to pay a little extra. I promise I will share how much I paid eventually. I just wanna string you along a little bit longer. I just checked my email so that I could actually make sure I'm being correct here. January 9th, 2023, over a year ago, we finalized the covers and it was set in stone. I can't remember if I paid a deposit and then some or if I paid it all up front. But anyway, it was fully paid for and fully done. And so I had this gorgeous character art, not the full cover, just the character art. Okay, keep that in mind. <laughs> Gosh, I can't believe that it was that long ago. I feel a little embarrassed actually. I distinctly remember in one of my emails being like, it'll totally come out really soon. <laughs> We're here finally, it's out finally, okay? So that's what matters. But I sat on this gorgeous, cover well character art not cover yet sorry we're not done with the story for months i had to finish drafting and editing and publishing these three books and everything went slower than expected but i really wanted them to have their individual time in the spotlight or however the saying goes before i revealed this character art cover for the omnibus because i wanted it to be set apart in its own thing but not take away from the three books individually coming out obviously. So that brings us to the next stage in my plan. It was all the way back. I think I took some footage actually the very first day that I downloaded Photoshop and I did download it because I was like, I want to finally get some typography going. And in case you're newer to my channel and you don't know this, I actually had the chance to work with one of my friends, Mandy Lynn. She was creating a cover design course and I got to beta test the course and give her feedback and kind of help out on the first two of the three course bundle for cover design. So I did the Photoshop, kind of learning some newbie stuff and the typography and I got to learn a lot. And I was like, I'm going to implement this immediately because I have no patience and I get excited and I just go for it. So Mandy had told me that you can actually uh, rent, am I using the right word? rent Photoshop. Anyway, you don't have to buy it. You can do like a month by month thing. And anyway, so I signed up to do that and I started playing with the Omnibus <laughs> and that spiraled. So I think that was in July. It was like directly after I published this book and I was feeling burnt out. I didn't feel like writing. So instead of going on to work on this book like I should have, I instead spiraled out and started learning Photoshop and designed all four of these new covers for the Stolen Kingdom series. It was something that I had been planning to do and I will put this video below because it explains the entire story of how important it was to me to create covers that actually reflected the fairy tale retelling. Like, can you guess what this one is? Can you guess what this one is? <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. Sleeping Beauty is the only one that's not super clear, but it's book four and I love the crown, okay? But the reason that I bring these up is because I basically started out designing the omnibus technically, and I did do a very, 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 very simple font. Really embarrassing probably looking back on it. <laughs> typography, just practicing and trying to figure out how to design the jacket and the front cover and so on. And I started out with all this knowledge from Mandy's course and then I just expanded on. I started watching YouTube videos about Photoshop and just everything that I could get my hands on. Just all kinds of stuff that I'm sure she teaches in her, you know, final 
Photoshop for an actual cover design, her third course, but I hadn't actually taken that. So I was just like, how do I put these two pictures together that aren't actually together? How do I take one background and put a tail over it, you know? How do I do color saturation and make something pop way more? This was actually a whole different color and a whole different color background and I just changed everything. And it was a really, really cool experience. But I bring that up to say that I started the Omnibus, but quickly deviated and went a whole different direction and my entire July and August was spent on this series. And then of course, I had to come back to actually finishing writing this book and editing and getting ready to publish because I had set a release date for January and I had been procrastinating and suddenly was in a time crunch. So I spent a lot of time focused on this book before I was finally able to come back to figuring out typography again. I keep shifting the books around, but it actually ended up being a good thing that I waited because my cover designer, Mandy, was going on maternity leave and so she was offering her clients, aka me and others, that we could get the PSD file, aka the Photoshop file version of our books if we paid a little bit more, which I did so that I could then, you know, edit the cover to fit the extra 50 plus pages that I ended up adding. I think it was way more than that, actually. I was really excited because that meant that I could take the same font, the same author name, the same, you know, style for the logo and for the back, all of these little details and keep the branding the same by pulling a lot of it over onto the Queen's Rise series. So thank you, Mandy, for that. But the story doesn't end there because once I found a cover that I was like, well, I think I like this. I think it was actually this one. I'm oh, sorry, this one was first. So you can see it's a closer up version that I was testing. I had to order a copy through Ingram Spark was the first attempt at ordering a copy and it took them over a month to get it to me. On top of that, I was still figuring out cover design, trying new things. I was like, you know what? I actually think I want it to be a little bit further out and I was testing the tagline on the bottom and I ordered through Barnes & Noble because I wanted to see it only to realize that Barnes & Noble doesn't even offer the uh, case laminate, that's what this is called. They just do a simple cloth. That was disappointing, obviously. So I came back to Ingram Spark and made this third copy where I finally was able to have the final interior as well, where it got a lot bigger because I had the final book three and all those extra pages that I'd added, plus a bonus scene for the omnibus, which will be formatted differently, but it was in progress. So I added it to get a sense of the page count. And I've since changed the formatting yet again, as well as the case laminate underneath. I can show you the test version case laminate, but I felt like it was too boring. So I have something more exciting planned that by the time you see this video, I think I will be able to reveal it. And now as of recording this, I'm officially 10 days out from the Kickstarter where I officially launch this book. And the coolest thing about this that I am still kind of wrapping my head around is that it's not really a release day. It's actually more of a pre-order launch, but like with a very short pre-order window of 19 days, I believe, where I basically offer this book. And depending on how it goes, I am able to potentially upgrade some really, really cool things like potentially gold foil on the cover and some interior formatting and maybe even an extra bonus scene that I may or may not have already written. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. And of course, like I said, I'm 10 days out from the Kickstarter, but when you see this, it will be live. So if you wanna go check it out, the pre-order window to get an exclusive Kickstarter version of this book is only 19 days. It ends on March 15th. Hopefully it'll go well, I'm really hoping. Oh. I really, really, really hope it'll go well. Essentially, everybody who's a part of the Kickstarter will get the book months before it actually releases, tentatively in November of 2023 or later. So I'm going to put it on pre-order after the Kickstarter ends and it'll have an official release date, but I am estimating about six months from when the Kickstarter ends. So if you wanna get this book way before the rest of the world and the public release, then definitely go check the Kickstarter out. I will link it below, but I should probably share finally how much I paid because I promised you I'd share how much I paid for the character art cover and then I should also mention the Photoshop and these proof copies. Technically I ordered four proof copies. I ordered one from KDP as well just to get a feel for the size and what the cover looked like. So let's talk numbers. The character art itself was almost exactly $700. It was, I think it was in pounds or euros? Again, it's been a year. Okay, don't judge me. But anyway, when we did the conversion and I paid in US dollars, it was almost exactly $700 for the character art alone. And then like I mentioned, I did Photoshop and I rented it and I've continued to rent. Rent it? Is that the word? That's not the right word. Like a monthly subscription 
or whatever. And you can do that for $20 a month. I believe I did six months at $20. So that was 120. And then I tried to cancel. And of course, Adobe is notorious for not letting you cancel things and trying to switch you over to other stuff. So I finally caved and I was like, I guess I could keep Photoshop. And they did like a $10 version plus this plus that, but we're also going to cancel it for this long and you're going to get it free for three months and then it'll come back and blah, blah, blah. It was complicated, so I'm not gonna count whatever the heck happened after that, but the first six months was 120 for Photoshop. And then on top of that, like I said, I ordered each of these proof copies. And this KDP one was cheaper because Amazon's print company is just much more affordable in general and way faster, by the way. So this was, I think like $11 plus shipping. So I'm gonna say roughly $15. Then each of these with the dust jackets through Ingram Spark, which costs more. I believe the print book itself costs about out fifth $15 plus shipping plus handling plus some other fee that they add on and it's up to like $25 I think it was actually closer to 30 so three six nine we're just gonna say roughly a hundred dollars for all four of these <laughs> which hearing myself say it out loud is frustrating when you order them so sporadically it doesn't feel like that much but I do still need to order one final proof copy to finalize the interior when all is said and done so we're gonna estimate another $30 for that last proof copy and say a total of 130 so 700 plus 120 plus 130 is 950 dollars and i'll be honest with you i have some exciting plans for the marketing that will obviously be expensive so we'll see how it goes because i will proceed based on how the kickstarter goes again i have no idea it's just i can't even picture it so if you want to know if you're curious because at this point by the time you're seeing this video you will actually get to see it'll be live then again i'll put the link as the first link below and in the pinned comment it's it. I just really hope it'll go well. <laughs>